from St is it Stephen? Stephen? I'm getting something from Stephen. Christine? Yeah, Christine. Christine. <laughs> Hello, what's that crack? What's the story? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Billy Connolly mood bracelets. This is the, this is the big yin yang. Do you call it the big? I think someone said the yin yang. I'm not sure. Please, please, please correct me down below. But yeah, I do love Billy Connolly, man. This geezer is funny. Every story I've reacted to him so far, it's so good. My favorite has to be probably the masturbation story or dwarf on the bus or which other one? There's been so many stories. The old lady on the bus. It's so many bosses. Again, I'm trying too much. Let's get into this. Let's go. My daughters wanted mood bracelets when they were much smaller. They're older now, but they were wee schoolgirls. And, and there was a, 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 a shop near the coffee store where I used to hang out, and uh, they, they had them. It was one of those shops for the gullible, you know. The, <laughs> <laughs> shiny, a lot of shiny stones. And a lot of incense and fucking pendulums and tarot cards and things for the fucking daft. Stop it, stop it. I remember back in uni. Oh my God. They were, oh my, I had loads of friends like that. And then, do you know what? You try, because I don't believe in them. I don't believe in all this stuff, all these tarot cards. I, I, but that's just me. But you try, I try my best not to make them feel bad for believing it. Because everyone has their beliefs, man. And you don't want to make them feel bad. But there's been times when they tell me something, I'm like, okay. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> but him saying that just bring back memories. I know this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Let's go. <laughs> a lot of crystals. <laughs> stones were lying at you. Know, the power of the stones. A lot of <laughs> essential oils. <laughs> <laughs> I went to get the pebbles. Not the pebbles. The the the, the mood bracelets for my daughters. There was three of them wanted them. And I went away up, and I went on a Saturday morning. I didn't know all those people who were flying solo went there on a Saturday. <laughs> they were fucking reading shit to each other. And the psychics. I'm getting something from... <laughs> from St is it Stephen? Stephen? I'm getting something from... Stephen? Christine? Yeah, Christine. Christine. <laughs> Now the tarot cards. Oh, the Ten of Hangman's. <laughs> Sound bad? Sound fucking good to you? <laughs> oh no, the Three of Knife in the Face. <laughs> Some bad luck, Yank. <laughs> oh, the Two of Kick to Death in a Dark Alley. And the four of smack in the mouth. I think you've got a full house here. <laughs> Do you know Stephen Wright, the American comedian? He might be the funniest man on earth. I saw him on American television once and he said, wait a minute, I get it right. He said, I was playing solitaire with tarot cards. <laughs> Five guys died. <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what pisses me off is when people know that. Do you know when? Let's say you know someone that died, and you're trying to reach out to them, and you go to all this. You know, I was. I want to say, man, they know, man. There's psychics, psychics. They could be real. Some of them could be real. But if I'm paying someone five pounds. Or sometimes even two pound fifty to tell me my you know about my dead loved ones. That makes no why why is it costing me just five pounds? That makes no sense. How can I pay five pounds for you to tell me about my, my future? How how five pounds? Five. <sighs> that makes no sense. Or am I going crazy? Like like if I have if I have the gift to tell people their future, I'm not charging five pounds. I'm not charging five pounds or two pound fifty. Ch <laughs> oh, fuck, he kills me, Stephen. <laughs> oh, fuck. What was that other one he said that blew me trade with? He says, My uncle was a weird guy. Artificial legs, real feet. <laughs> 
<laughs> Stephen Wright. You must have given him a listen. He's got tapes and all that. But anyway, I mean, looking, they're all fucking gazing into each other's eyes, reading palms, reading feet. <laughs> Fucking pendulums and a lot of shite. So I'm in line with, with, my, with my mood bracelets for the girls, and a woman came over to me. And now I don't want to belittle her strictly because she's a fucking nutter, but, <laughs> but she had that kind of fucking village of the damned look about her. But she was kind of nice looking in a, in a friendly, nice, looked like a nice person. But it was kind of odd, she said. Do you mind if I speak to you? Mm, no. You know, and I never know what to say when people say that. You, you always want to say, well, do you mind if I pay no attention when you're doing it? <laughs> you <know. laughs> and the other one that gets me down is, can I ask you a question? <laughs> you say, that is a fucking question. <laughs> so what you really want to know is, can you ask me two questions? But I had hair at the time, beard and long hair. And she says, do you practice the arts? I mean, the fucking arts. They're all shaking pendulums and shouting at each other back here, <laughs> waving tarot cards about the arts all of a sudden. I said, I meant to say no. My brain said no. <laughs> but my face went, yeah. Oh, really? Which branch? And I'm fucking around looking at it. And from some dusty corner of my head, out it came, I said, I'm a pool reader. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I said, I read swimming pools. <laughs> what? I said, ah, oh, it's easy. I said, it's the same as teacups, but bigger. I said, all that shit blows into your pool, all them leaves and all that. Well, I'll come along, stand on your roof, read your pool for you. I wear a big cape and a welder's helmet. <laughs> she says, really? I said, no. She says, you should bring your card here and put it up in the water. <laughs> I'm fucking sure. I'll just get one from the car. I'll Absolutely brilliant. Again, another brilliant, another brilliant sketch stand up from Billy Connolly. It's just so good. Again, it's not about what he's saying, it's about how he's saying it. And it's so true. It's so true because you don't want to make them feel bad, you know, because everyone, again, everyone has their beliefs. Just because I don't believe in something doesn't mean it's wrong. I just don't believe in it. So I don't want to take part in it. You can take part in it, but just don't include me. Do you get what I mean? Let me know what you guys think down below. Yeah, if you guys want to see more Billy Connolly and one else, please, please comment down below. I'm doing loads of comedy and I keep doing it. I promise you that. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.